Hello, my name is Morgan. This is Let's Play Kill the Bad Guy. Kill the Bad Guy is brought to you by X Key, and it is a puzzle game with a touch of murder. This is actually just the demo, though. The game is completely released or finished for that matter, because they are also on Greenlight and Kickstarter. So if you want to go ahead and check out the description below, you can give them your support there. You can also get this demo for yourself, again, just link in the description, at IndieDB. Now, Kill the Bad Guy puts you in the role of this reality manipulating god, basically, who has decided that this poor schmuck has done something to deserve a horrible and horrific death. Uh, how you do that, you just have to manipulate your environment to kill him in very unique and creative ways. It's like Final Destination, except you are death. Does that sound like fun to you? Well, let's check it out. Just a quick thing to note, though, before we get started here, as this is just a demo, uh, the game is not released, this is not a final representation of the product, and everything should be taken with a grain of salt. So, like I said, there are really, really many options here, because again, this is just a demo. It's kind of just giving you an idea of what the game is like. Graphically speaking, this game has a very unique style to it. I don't know if this is what they're going to go with when the game is finished, but I kind of dig it. Uh, this is kind of just a quick tutorial explaining to you how you manipulate and uh, use your environment. Hold, click, and drag to move the camera, scroll to zoom in and out, find a way to kill the bad guy on its daily path without being seen. That's a big thing about this game, <clears throat> is field of vision. If the bad guy sees what you're doing, trying to get him to well, kill him, he will go, ah, and haul ass. We don't want to do that. We want to kill him in a very stealthy, undetected way. For instance, uh, it's just pausing right now because it's a tutorial. We're going to use this uh, this big ball here and try to kill him with that. Which did not work at all. <laughs> we completely missed. So we're going to go ahead and restart here. And I should probably talk about what, talk about what you're looking over here. Uh, as far as the UI goes, the game has several kind of features that I like. It has a pause feature which allows you to kind of kick a look at, at the board around you, the surroundings, and the objects. It has a restart button, of course, um, which allows you to do that. You also can see people's field of vision. Uh, it basically lets you play with certain things here and there. And it also has a speed up button, which I enjoy quite a bit. Okay, so let's go ahead. Ugh, Dude, that ball is so freaking slow, it's not even funny. Okay. This time, we're gonna click it, click it, and... Yeah! That's more like it! And that's what I like about this game, is you kinda get this instant replay of your horrific murder of this poor bastard. I think we could probably kill him again in a very creative way. Like, I would love to, like, drop the ball on him, maybe detach it from the chain. And that's the thing about it's kind of cool about this game is that there's multiple ways to kill somebody, not necessarily just that one way. Because this is a demo, though, there is a limited amount of ways. The demo has about 10 levels on it. And this actually is just giving you, introducing you to certain elements like the ability to distract your target, which is what this is. You can click on, let's say, this store right here, which has a nudie mag, and then it brings up this, this sub menu, which allows you to. Uh, move the object in a direction that you want to put it in. So I'll grab the new mag, for instance, and put it right there. Oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, man, I like that porn right there. And then I start hacking this device. And that's kind of an important thing to know. You have to hack devices. As this meter builds up, it's kind of like me dick well, <laughs> messing with it. <laughs> and get, getting the ability to use it to murder this poor guy in a horrific way. For instance, this vent has a fan in it that will, well, you'll see. So he's distracted by the nudie mag. Hopefully I can get this going fast enough. Oh, he kept walking, no, oh, come on. Ah, oh, he walked away too fast. But you get the kind of idea of how you manipulate the environment and certain objects to do certain things. Now, we did lose our chance to murder that guy, but because it's day two, the nudie mag will still be there. And it kind of gets you like a, a fresh restart. I don't really understand oh, the point yeah. of it going to day two quite yet. Maybe that'll be like a, a an important feature later on, it going to the next day and all that. Oh, Did yeah. I miss? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> That's another thing, which is pretty awesome. It has kind of like this oh, physics yeah. engine to it all, which obviously gravity kicked in and he actually got his head chopped off, it looks like. That was amazing and fantastic. I was not expecting that at all. So it has like kind of that, that physics engine, kind of realistic aspect of things of how objects interact with each other. 
I really enjoy that. Uh, this part, okay, this kind of, like I said, everything is about kind of killing your target in a stealthy manner. For instance, he has a field of vision, which if, uh, let's see if I can turn those on really quick. Okay. He has a field of vision right here, which you can see right in front of you. If I were to do something in that field of vision, he'd freak out and run away. But now they've also introduced a new element to the game, which are cameras. The cameras kind of work for him. So if you were to kill him on camera by, let's say, me manipulating this car here and having it smash into him in a horrific, horrible way, it would I would fail the board because it would be spotted by essentially, I guess you could say, the bad guys or the people he works for, whatever have you. So I don't want to do that. What I am going to do is actually going to go ahead and speed up time here so he walks just a little bit tiny faster. And while that's going on, I'm going to hack this car here. Slow down time just a little bit because I always have a little bit of trouble timing the exact moment that he's in front of the car. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! That was way too. What the hell was I planning there, man? All right. Well, he we screwed that up. Let's 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 have time go out again. We'll 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 try that again, guys. Okay, the car is hacked this time, so all I need to do is just press the damn button. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I, I like the fact they have that, sp that speed up feature. It allows it to kind of get through things a lot more quickly and more fast to the action. There we go. Oh, he's dead. We got him. Perfect. All right. As you can see, though, I, I love is that they also don't kind of shy away from the gore aspect of it all. You can kind of horrifically murder these bastards in any way that you like, and I enjoy that quite a bit. I wish they would kind of amp up the gore, though. I mean, I want the... And the deaths are very satisfying, mind you. But I think that they, if they're going to go for just this gory, horrific death, they should just go for all out. Go like Happy Wheel style, have them just explode horrifically. So again, kind of talking about that physics engine of how... Oops, I forgot to do this. Uh, manipulating objects here. We're gonna go ahead and send this car over this ramp. Oh yes, fantastic! <laughs> oh, that's a bad. Oh god, that's a horrible way to die. Oh my god. Oh. You win. Yeah, no crap. I win. He's dead. So you get the idea of how you manipulate certain things, and this is just kind of giving you an example of how certain physics engines work and this introduces you to the ability to kind of combine objects so now we can take this cord for instance combine it with that piano and then attach it to something and drop it on him and then you could do that with several other objects not just necessarily pianos the wires can attach themselves to many many other things you could also click uh, I think on this um, this triangle this, this thing it gives you kind of back puts you back in the tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the piano take the piano and attach it to a building and then I bet you can imagine what's going to happen cartoon style he were going to drop the damn piano on him but like I said as the boards get bigger and bigger uh, and I, I think the last board is a really good example of this oh, you're dead uh, there's a myriad of ways you can kill the guy in one level you don't have to necessarily kill him in one particular way and I really enjoy that kind of that puzzle ask uh, Thing to it all there's also different elements that they're going to be adding as we continue on our let's play here is they're gonna be adding other people okay I'm gonna put the nudie mag there uh, again this is introducing the ability to combine objects this time we're gonna combine a wire and well to be honest it looks like some sort of a javelin spear object here let's go ahead and combine those two uh, hey, come on oh wait no I'm sorry we're not combining that, we're combining this and that. There we go. Hopefully he does not see me. Okay, he did not, okay. So I bet you could tell this is going to end. Not well for him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we combined, made like a rubber band object and well, uh, oh, that happened, that had to have hurt. Well, that's what he gets for looking at random nudie mags on the damn street for, you know? What a freaking pervert. So yeah, it has that entire stealth element, that entire field of vision element. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, this basically introduces a another element which is kind of multiple pathing. 
Uh, the dead dog was in this alley, so he's not going to walk down this alley. Well, I guess he is. How kind of him. He changed his mind for me. Oh, wait. I scared him. No, come back. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that happens. Let me see if I can finish my thought here. All right. So, let's see this dead dog here. This is just kind of a path thing. You need to guide this guy. And how you do that is by either kind of putting obstructions or things in his way to guide him down a particular death trap, as it were. So in this case, this entire alley was covered in cameras. So I don't want him to go down that alley because I'll be spotted if I try to kill him with said box and wire. What I want to do is I want him to go down this alley, but do that I have to remove the dead dog? Which, by the way, I don't know who put a dead dog in with their dick. <laughs> okay, whoever killed the dog and left its damn body there, I hope they um, or I hope they die because they're bad people. So let's go ahead and try to get this to work here. Come on, I can do this. Fantastic, good. We got the box in the alleyway. He's gonna walk down it because he's walking down the right alleyway now. And all we gotta do is simply cut the wire and he will drop dead. <laughs> okay, or oh, we'll miss horribly and we'll laugh about it. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's okay, I think we can attach another one. Right? Oh, yeah, maybe we can do something else. Maybe. Oh, it looks like we can do something else with the box. We don't necessarily just have to kill him with that box. We can kill him with this box. This, apparently, we can just tip it over and maybe it'll fall on him. Again, I didn't know actually I could do that. The first time I just did it with the wire. Alright, let's try this. Okay, okay, that didn't work. Uh. That didn't work either. God dang it, man. This man is a ninja. He is amazing. Oh, he's just strolling. La -da -da -da. Things are falling out of the sky and shit. He's not even paying attention. What a douchebag. Okay, this time we have like three objects we're going to try to kill him with. All right, we have one box. Two, three boxes to kill him with. Okay, let's try this one. Nope. Try this one. Nope. And this one. God dang ball sacks! What the hell, man? It's gonna go to like day five and we haven't killed this poor bastard yet. So you can kind of fling this, I noticed. Kind of simply clicking and dragging it, so maybe I can actually like... Oh, I almost hit him! Oh, I so almost hit him! Come on! Okay, actually, you know what? I'm kind of curious. If I were to like... Put that up there. Oh, that's the wrong spot. No, god dang it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try a more simplistic kill. I know it's probably like a little bit more wussy-ish. Dang it. Oh gosh, he didn't spot me when I moved the bog. You know what? He he might have gotten away today. Oh, come on, did he see that? Oh, okay, okay. We'll try again. I don't know why I'm making this level so difficult for myself. It's actually very simplistic of a, of a level to do. Just use the damn box and then drop it on a martyr. Stop trying this fancy stuff you got going on. We're going to zoom in pretty close so that way I can get a good idea of what he's under the box. Because the hitbox on this thing is kind of very small. There we go. Perfect. We got him that time. So again, I didn't know that I could kill people by dragging and clicking off the box and kind of sending it flying really fast. Uh, it, the game kind of has like a... I can see this game being very easily... Excuse me, I burped. Ported to uh, um, iOS and Android as this game basically just seems really good. You can see it being easily played with the, the finger, you know, if you know what I'm saying. You kind of get that that feel from it. Anyways, so now we have to kill this man and there's a new element added to all this, which is people. Because we are the good guys, we don't want to kill them. We want to kill him. But if they see him get murdered, let me see if I can show you this. If they see him get murdered, we also fail. So we have to find a way to kill him. And... Oh, oops, yeah. dang it. No, turn off. We have to find a way to kill him and kill oh, yeah. um oh, yeah. without him being spotted so i may fail this here let's see what happens oh god i failed that one horribly let's try it. let's restart 
I was busy more trying to talk more than actually try to get this accomplished, so. Pack that. Pack that. Alright, we can do this. Alright, we need to distract this guy behind him. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I love that. Says, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! He's like, oh, whatever. I missed that completely. Let's try that again. One more time, gosh dang it. Maybe there's another way to kill him. Maybe is there a nudie mag I can put out? No, I can't. Okay. There is no nudie mag to be putting out this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh! Yeah. Okay. I'm turning that on way too early. Alright. Come on. We can do this, Marder. Just focus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll keep those guys up there distracted. That keeps him distracted. Yes! Perfect shots! Keeping all of them distracted with porn as we... Wow. Wow, those sound effects, man. Oh my. That's all I gotta say. Dear Lord. So this introduces, I guess you could say, a fire element. Guys, guys, there's a lot of ways to murder this bastard. You can light him on fire. You can whack him with the tree. Let me see if I can show you the last level here. I think you got a kind of a good idea of how the uh, murdering works, as it were. And again, this is just a demo. So it's not completely a final representation of everything that you can do. You can light him on fire. That's the second to last level. But I just wanted to show you this level because I want to give you a quick example of how many different ways there is to kill this guy. This is just one prime example of what levels could be like eventually. Uh, once this game is completed and hopefully, you know, greenlit and maybe kickstarted and all that. You have cameras here, you have people here, you have a myriad of death objects from trees to signs to dead dogs. You name it, there's just uh, several ways to kind of manipulate the environment here to kill this guy. So, what we want to do is hopefully get him to go down another path. So let's see if I can get him to do that. Can I do that? Oh no, he just simply turned. Okay, well. Oh, he spotted me. Okay, he's hauling ass. We didn't get him out. We didn't get him that time. But maybe if we do this a little bit more stealthily. Dang it! Clicker! Clicker! Okay, perfect, perfect. And then we're gonna have him go down this way. He's gonna be like, hey, I can't walk down that path, right? Don't tell me he's gonna take an alternate path. Okay, he took that path, perfect. We're gonna hack this thing. What is that? Oh, it's a dollar. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, and there's also a vent there. So we can kill him possibly that way. All right, so we're going to do the same thing this time. Except we're going to move it there. And then we're going to move that there. You know what? No, that'll actually block that path, won't it? Okay, so we don't want to do that. Okay. So we got a dollar here. I want to see if I can kill him with this thing. I want to see him die by the vent. We'll try this maybe a couple times more here. We'll speed up time just a tiny bit. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ah, uh, you know what? It looks like we might have to kill him with this thing. Can we do it in time? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. Ah, uh, he's hauling ass. One more time. Come on, dang it. We can get him. I know we can. I know I can get him to go on that path. Let's see if I can put something there. He'll have to walk across the street. In the meantime, I'm going to hack this. Hack that.
I have to gently guide this oh, dollar here. Yeah. And he's gonna go for it, looks like. He's gonna go for it, guys. He's gonna go for it. Is he going for it? He went for it? What the hell? Oh, it's a pit! It's a pit! That's what it is! Ah, okay. Well, guys, uh, I'll try. Well, we'll try one more time. I, I, was, I was thinking about just ending the video there. Maybe this time I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get him on that pit. Even if the camera spots me, I don't care. I kinda wanna see him die by the pit. Pit's gonna go there. Okay. And he's not gonna be able to go anywhere else, hopefully, because I'm gonna stop him. And then we're gonna hopefully speed up time here a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh Okay, yeah. slow down time. Zoom in. Oh, Guy took the dollar and slide up. Oh, what the heck? No, no! Bulls. There we go. He fell into the pit, but we got spotted by the camera. How do you take out that camera? Well, I'll have to figure it out next time, guys. But you get the idea of how there's multiple ways to murder. Kill the Guy has a lot of potential, but it has a long road ahead for this game to be really fleshed out. I think the game mechanics are there for an entertaining death machine. I just want more pieces to kill people with and more puzzles, which is a good thing. That's basically what you want out of your demo. If I had one suggestion, like I said earlier, it would be to add more satisfying death. I want the guy to explode in massive gore, Happy Wheel style, if, it, if at all possible. They could have this already in planned and in mind. Again, this is a demo, and this is a game that's still in development and being made. So go ahead and give them your support on Steam and Kickstarter. I hope you enjoyed this kind of first look video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share for future indie view videos. And this has been Let's Play Kill the Bad Guy.